Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the government's response to new reports of an unsecured tailings pond is that everything's in compliance. This government just doesn't get it. When the rules allow for tailing ponds with missing walls or without barriers or removal of vegetation to prevent wildlife access, this government rules are too weak, literally full of holes. So to the Minister of the Environment, given that over 50% of the reported incidents from this particular tailing yeah. pond had impacts on water, why hasn't the government done anything to improve this? The standards? Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, let's be clear. This is an industrial site. The site is completely isolated from all of the natural water bodies that, uh, and, and water courses in the area. There are pipelines on this site. There are fluids on this site that from time to time are, are released. They, they are not released off of the site. They are contained within the industrial site. These are the instances that this member refers to. In every case, those instances, th th those, uh, those, those the Honourable releases member. Are, are clear. The Honourable Member. Thank you. Uncontrolled release of settling pond water above a, a, a approval limits, um, treated water particle counts and turbidity, missed readings, uh, a storm that caused the pond to overflow because there was too much water. I mean, come on, these are the incidents they reported them. So why do you keep insisting that there's no problem with the water? What exactly is holding the government back from doing a better job here? Mr. Mr. Speaker, again, there, there is movement of water within the industrial footprint of, of this operation. And when there is a, when there is a release, uh, there is a requirement that there be an appropriate cleanup and appropriate reporting. But, Mr. Speaker, these are not releases of water into the environment. These are releases of water that cause issues within and on the industrial footprint of the, of the operation the itself. Member. Well, there's 69 of them. Okay, next question then goes to the Minister of Energy responsible for the ERCB. Given that the CNRL Horizon application under Directive 74 uh, states, and I quote, Canadian Natural is unable to achieve the fines capture required by Directive 74 and that the phase-in schedule is not achievable, why was this plan approved? The they Minister. couldn't do it. <clears throat> Mr. Speaker, it is it's my understanding, uh, Mr. Speaker, that the, uh, as I mentioned in the answer to the member's question yesterday when she said the CNRL uh, direct, uh, the plan had been approved, it's my understanding it has not yet been approved and it is one of the two that I mentioned yesterday is still under review. 